Eh, hey, awak. Awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Okay, so now example number 5. So here we have a father. Alright, consider the father pushing a playground merry-go-round in figure 4. Okay, so now look at here. Figure 4, a father pushes a playground merry-go-round at its edge and perpendicular to its radius to achieve maximum torque. And remember that torque will be maximum when F is 90 degree to R. F is perpendicular to R. Okay, so he exerts a force of 250 Newton, okay, at the edge of the 50 kg merry-go-round, which has a 1.5 meter radius. So, calculate the angular acceleration produced, A, eh, when no one is on the merry-go-round. Ha, maknanya tak ada orang lah. Ayah ada tolak tu saya saja je lah nak bersenam kan. So, B, when an 80 kg child sits 1.25 meter away from the center. So, consider the merry-go-round itself to be a uniform disc with negligible retarding friction. Alright, so now, let's look at the free body diagram. So, if we try to draw a circle, okay. So, let's say we have a circle here. Okay. And we exit a force which is perpendicular to R. Let's say this is the direction of F. Okay. And then this is R which is 90 degree to F. Okay. And obviously this merry-go-round we rotate in this direction. Alright. So now A. Let's use total torque is equal to I alpha. Since we want to find alpha, which is the angular acceleration produced, okay? So, the only force that exerted on the merry-go-round here, the external force from the father, which is 250 Newton. So, RF sine 90 degree is equal to I alpha, okay? So, alpha is equal to RF over I, okay? But before that, we need to calculate first what is the moment of inertia for the disc, Okay, so we consider, okay, this is a uniform disc and we know that, okay, the equation for the moment of initial for a disc is half mR squared. Okay, so we substitute m is the mass of the merry-go-round and it is 50 kg and then the radius is 1.5. Okay, so I is equal to 56 0.25 kg meter squared. Okay. So now we can substitute here where R is the radius of the merry-go-rounds which is 1.5 and the external force is 250 Newton. Kat sini tadi eh. Dia dah bagi dalam soalan. And then the moment of inertia we have calculated just now which is 56.25 and then alpha is equal to 6.67 unit jangan salah. Okay, radian per second squared. Okay. And then for part B. So, we need to calculate the angular acceleration when an 18 kg child sits 1.25 away from the center. So, the radius of the D's ataupun the radius of the merry-go-round is 1.5. So, kalau 1.25 from the center, uh, contohnya kat sini lah. Uh, budak itu duduk dekat sini Okay Which is R Equal to 1.25 R prime uh, R budak tu lah Okay So when we have a child That sits on the merry-go-round So we need to calculate the total Moment of inertia Okay Moment of inertia of the disc And also Moment of inertia of the child Okay So we need to calculate the moment of inertia For the merry-go-round and the moment of inertia of the child. So, we need to calculate I total where it's equal to I this plus I child. Okay, where the equation to calculate the moment of inertia for a child. So, we need to use this equation which is the moment of inertia for a particle. 
Alright, so IC should be equal to MR squared. Okay, so kita dah tahu dah mass of the child is 18 kg. So we can find 18 times R is 1.25 from the center. Jangan lupa squared. And then the moment of initial for the child should be 28.13 kg meter squared. Okay, so I total, okay, bila budak itu dah duduk di atas merry-go-round tadi, so kita tambahkanlah 56.25 plus 28.13, so I total is equal to 84.38 kg meter squared. Alright, therefore in order to calculate what is the angular acceleration, Okay, when the child sits on the merry-go-round, it is equal to RF over I total. Okay, kita taklah alpha prime. Means that this is the new angular acceleration. Maknanya masa anak itu duduk di atas merry-go-round, the external force F, kita tak ubah pun. It's constant 250 newton. Okay, ayahnya tolak dengan external force of 250 newton. So, R is equal to 1.5 times 250 Newton over I total 84.38. Okay, therefore, okay, alpha prime should be equal to 4.44 radian per second squared. Okay, so this is the answer for part B. So, finish example number 5. So, let's proceed to example number 6. Alright, example number 6. So, I think this is the last example for subtopic 8.3, Rotational Dynamics. So, saya harap awak boleh faham subtopic dan chapter ini untuk buat assignment awak. Okay, so example number 6. So, here we have 10 kg block is attached to a 20 kg pulley which is a solid disc. Okay, so bila solid disc, okay, selalunya so soalan akan bagilah. Okay, the moment of inertia I is equal to half mR squared. So, this is the equation. Okay, the moment of inertia for a solid disk. Okay, and the radius is given here. Okay, and the mass of the pulley also given. But, yeah, so the moment of inertia is not given. Okay, so kita boleh kira lah. Okay, so the block is released from rest causing the disk to spin. What is the angular acceleration of the disk? And the acceleration of the block. How far is the block falling after 8 seconds? Okay. So, we need to find the angular acceleration and also the acceleration of the block. Okay. So, here we have okay, alpha and also A. Okay. Uh, A. Since the object is moving downward. Okay. So, now let's start to draw. Okay. So, here we have a free body diagram. So, Okay, here we have weight of the block is downward. Okay, and then we have a tension. So, this is the free body diagram. And we need to consider, okay, that the motion here is linear motion. Okay, the motion of the block is linear motion. So, remember to write the equation of linear motion total force in Y component. Since the block is moving downward, so total Fy is equal to mb the mass of the block times the acceleration a okay so look at the direction of a so here we have okay uh, weight and a same direction so mg okay weight plus minus t weight plus negative t is equal to mba so from here we can write equation t is equal to mbg minus MBA. Okay? So, kita boleh biarkan dulu. Kita tak boleh selesaikan sebab soalan nak suruh kita cari angular acceleration and also the linear acceleration. So, in order to calculate what is A, so we need to find what is T. Okay, tension. So, tak ada. Yang ni kita nak cari. Okay? So, now we need another equation from rotational motion. Okay? So, let's write, okay, rotational motion, okay, which is referring to the pulley, alright, so total torque, okay, so dekat pulley ni ada satu saja force, T, satu saja ke bawah kan, ha, ke sini, tak ada dah lagi yang lain, 
Okay, so total torque is equal to I alpha. Therefore, okay, RT is equal to I alpha. Okay, let's say this is equation number one. And this is second equation. Boleh. Okay. So, here we have T. So, we can substitute equation number 1 into equation number 2. Okay. We can substitute equation number 1 into equation number 2. So, kita boleh gantikan T ni tadi. Okay. So, R. So, T tadi adalah MBG minus MBA equal to I alpha. Okay, jadi tengok pada soalan ini, equation ini kita ada A, kita ada alpha and we already know that okay, the relationship between A dengan alpha adalah A equal to R alpha. Okay, so kalau you nak kira A dahulu, okay, you tukarkan alpha kepada A over R. Kalau you nak kira alpha dahulu, A ini you gantikan dengan R alpha. Boleh? So, Let's substitute, okay? Since we know already that A is equal to R alpha, so let's substitute R equal to, okay, this one, MBG minus MBA now is R alpha equal to I alpha. So now I try to expand this equation, okay? So from here, we can try to simplify the equation. Yang ada alpha, ha, kita nak kira alpha kan? Okay, bawa ke one side. Boleh. So, dia akan jadi R MBG equal to I alpha plus R squared MB alpha. So, we can factorize alpha. Therefore, okay, saya tak muat eh. Saya tulis kat sebelah ni. Okay. So, alpha is equal to R MBG. Okay, over I plus R squared MB. Okay, so daripada sini kita dah tahu semua nilai. Kita ada R, MB, G, I. Ini kita boleh kira R squared dan MB. Okay, tapi moment of inisia kira lah dulu tadi. Okay, the moment of inisia for the this, you substitute all the values. This is the mass of the pulley. And the radius of the pulley. So, you will get the moment of initial for the this. Okay, is equal to 40. Okay, 40 kg meter square. Alright. So, now let's substitute alpha is equal to. So, R is the radius of the pulley. Okay, which is 2 meter times the mass of the block is equal to 10 kg times 9.81. Okay, and then I is the moment of initial 40 plus R2, sorry, R squared, so 2 squared times 0 0.31. Okay, uh, ni dalam ni selesaikan dulu. Okay, so press your calculator. Okay, and then over I is 40 kg plus, okay, R squared is 2, 2 squared times Mass of the block is given 10 kg. Okay. So, this is 10 kg. Alright. Bukan 20 kg eh. 20 kg tu adalah mass of the pulley. So, mass of the pulley kita akan substitute dekat sini lah. Okay eh. Boleh. And then, finally, alpha you will get 2.45 radian per second squared. So, this is the answer for alpha. If we want to find the angular and then we want to find acceleration of the block which is A and as we know that A is equal to R alpha. So finally we can find value of A is equal to R is 2 and then alpha is 2.45. Okay, ha, senang saja yang ini. And then A, unit kena betul. So, A is equal to 4.9 meter per second squared. Okay. And then part B. How far? Okay. How far? Sejauh mana? How far is the block falling after 8 seconds? Okay. 
So, since the block start from rest, so we already know that u is equal to 0. And acceleration kita dah kira tadi. And then, in 8 seconds, what is the distance travelled by the block? So, which is s. Okay. So, maknanya kalau block ni bergerak ke bawah, ha, kalau dia sampai sini, sejauh mana? Ha, ini yang kita nak kira, s dia. Okay. So, now we can use equation. Okay, this is very simple. So, we can use s equal to ut plus half at squared since u is equal to 0. Therefore, we can find s is equal to, uh, boleh kira lah. Okay. Uh, half a tu kita boleh tak negative because the motion is downward. Negative 4.9. T is 8 seconds. Okay. So, kira you akan dapat uh, sebab dia tanya how far kan. Okay. Kalau you bagi jawapan kat sini, dia akan dapat s equal to negative 156.8 meter. And the negative sign showing you that the direction here is downward direction. So, the displacement is 156.8 meter. So, arah dia ke bawah. Okay. Okay, kalau nak tanya how far ataupun you boleh bagi dalam bentuk ini iaitu jawapannya adalah positif. Sejauh manakah? Ha? So, what is the distance travel by the block? Okay. So, finish example number 6. So, finish all examples for subtopic 8.3. So, for the next video, I will continue with the last subtopic which is the angular momentum and conservation of angular momentum. Alright. So, thank you and all the best for your assignment. See you in the next video. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Bye-bye.